Hello Scorpio, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's coming your way in love and what can you expect next. As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Scorpio watching, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, for Scorpio, what messages, guidance do you have for Scorpio? What's coming towards Scorpio in love? What's coming towards Scorpio in love? coming towards Scorpio in love. What's coming towards Scorpio? Hmm. So we have past life coming together, paralyzing fear and deep regret. <laughs> I feel like someone from your past or past life connection is wanting to reunite, come together with you, but there's fears and regrets for some reason, or someone's carrying some sort of baggage here. So let's see what we got. What's going on for Scorpio? In love, what does Scorpio need to know, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, let's see what we got. Ace of Wands, the Devil Reverse, Capricorn Energy, Two of Swords Reverse, and the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. Overall energy is the Eight of Stones Reverse, which is the Eight of Pentacles Reverse in this deck. Hmm. Well, Ace of Wands and Temperance definitely goes with this energy up here because temperance is all about coming together in harmony, blending two very different things together in such a way that it is balanced, harmonious, but that takes time and patience. So the double reverse is a card about overcoming restrictions, temptations, addictions, difficulties. Um, so I wonder if there's just something that someone has been kind of dealing with that has affected this connection like some sort of unhealthy element so let's clarify what's this ace of wands well actually let's go up here to the eight of pentacles reverse because the eight of pentacles reverse is a card about things that are not really working out or someone's unable to put in a lot of effort or time or energy into something at this time so tell me about the eight of pentacles reverse why is the eight of pentacles reverse Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? The Five of Pentacles, okay. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Eight of Pentacles in here? Why is the Eight of Pentacles reverse? Knight of Swords. I feel like this might be somebody coming in out of the cold to, to talk or that is maybe going to communicate some sort of difficulty to you. I see both. Four of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is kind of someone that's checked out, disinterested, dissatisfied. Sometimes this card can mean like someone that is afraid, afraid of being rejected, like they'll offer a cup to someone and the other person is not interested. And then there's the two of cups after that. Hmm. I don't know, I'm, I'm getting the sense, okay, can I get one more for the eight of pentacles reverse? Maybe something can't really be worked out or something can't, someone can't begin to put effort into something because they haven't even started the communication or there's some sort of truthful element that needs to happen here, like a honest conversation or someone being honest with themselves or someone discovering some sort of truth before this could really turn around. Okay, tell me one more for this Eight of Pentacles. Reverse. Wow, Ace of Cups. 
So there's definitely potential here for I feel, I feel this is related to love, but also there's potential here to communicate feelings that you might have for someone. And then there's the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So this is literally a symbol of working together, collaborating, building something, and that takes effort, time, and collaboration. So I feel like this is all connected, but why is someone out in the cold or feels out in the cold? Why is someone fearing rejection? Maybe you have a history with this person. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands about? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Four of Swords and Seven of Wands. Yikes. Okay. So I feel like this is some, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm getting like, um, well, let me clarify these other ones. Maybe I'll get a little bit more insight once I get to know what the, these are all about. Tell me about the devil reverse, but these are very conflicting energies. Tell me about the devil reverse. Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the devil reverse. Three of wands. Okay. Tell me about the two of swords reverse. Why is the two of swords reverse? The moon. Pisces energy. Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? Nine of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Ace of swords. This energy here is telling me that someone's not sure if communicating openly and honestly will fix something, will resolve something. How will Scorpio take this? How will Scorpio react? What will their answer be? What will their response be, et cetera, et cetera? That's what I'm picking up here. And it makes sense because it's like the two of swords reverse and the moon is like, what will someone will someone's decision be? Tell me about the two of swords reverse. Tell me about the two of swords reverse. Wow, the wheel of fortune. I heard it could go either way. Yeah, six of pentacles, like a seesaw. It could go either way. Two of pentacles, it could go either way. I'm not sure. Three of Wands, same thing. What would the result be? If I bring an offer after I, you know, overcome whatever restriction this is, which I feel is mental with paralyzing fear here, someone might be terrified of coming forward. But once they overcome that, what will, what will the response be? I think they picture you like this, this Seven of Wands. Someone that's, res you know, resisting this, blocking this. And I think it's because of the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles could be a symbol for, and even the Moon. You don't know something because you haven't talked to somebody about it, right? And that's probably why the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords are so important here. Someone needs to get that information, get to the bottom of that, communicate. Why is the Ace of Swords here? What's this Ace of Swords about? What's this eight of, Ace of Swords about? What's this Ace of Swords about? The Hermit, <laughs> Virgo energy. Whatever this is, okay, there's the Three of Pentacles again. Whatever this is, the Hermit um, is definitely somebody that's like a solitary figure, isolated, withdrawn, doesn't really have anybody to talk to. Um, everything's quiet. And because it's quiet around them, they're able to plan, uh, listen to their intuition, listen to their inner voice, evaluate, you know, what their next steps will be. But when I saw this energy here with the Ace of Swords and the Hermit, I, I think I even like laughed a little bit. I don't remember because I'm already like focused on this here. <laughs> but I almost got this energy of someone that, you know, they, they start a conversation and then they retreat back to their shell. 
or they open their mouth but nothing comes out which is very odd tell me about this ace of swords maybe this is someone that will discuss what they've been thinking about for a long time or what they've kept to themselves through this solitary journey or whatever journey they're, they're on can i get one more for this ace of swords four of cups again i feel this person has held back because of a fear of rejection a fear of the response tell me about the ace of swords page of pentacles it's going to be a small offer but i think deep down they wish they could make you an ace of pentacles type of offer but they can't maybe that's too scary so they're going to start with the page of pentacles let's go get a cup of coffee but they're thinking long term knight of pentacles is here as well so let's see what what can you expect next spirit what can we expect next for scorpio and this person where is all of this headed in the near future where is all of this headed in the near future where is all of this headed in the near future for scorpio put these up where's all of this headed in the near future for scorpio two of wands reverse where is all of this headed in the near future for Scorpio? The Magician Reverse. Okay, can I get one more? Where is all of this headed in the near future for Scorpio? The Page of Cups. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. So this is very interesting energy because the two of wands reverse and the two of swords reverse are clearly connected. <laughs> I feel like someone is almost like at the brink of making a decision or this decision is very important. And then the magician reverse as well. I feel like someone's unable to get something done. Eight of pentacles reverse. So let's see what this is all about. Why is the two of wands reverse? A path has been chosen or needs to be chosen. Let's see. Tell me about the two of wands reverse. The chariot and the queen of cups. Cancer energy with the chariot. Yeah, moving forward. Tell me about the magician reverse. Why is the magician reverse? Why is the magician reverse? Four of Wands. Why is the Magician reverse? Actually, let me just have more space on this side. Why is the Magician reverse? Why is the Magician reverse? Nine of Wands. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Queen of Wands. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the Page of Cups here? Why are there two queens here? Eight of Swords. The Tower. Jeez. There could be another a situation outside of you, Scorpio, or a third party involved here on your end or on their end. Someone else. The devil reverse could be what that sim like what that um, symbolizes, right? Like someone getting out of a situation. But I also think that this is someone that's scared to open up. Eight of Swords, Page of Cups, the Chariot, and the Queen of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. There's like um. The decision has been made to move forward and I feel it's to move forward with the intent of revealing their feelings. However, with the Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands here and the Magician Reverse, I almost get the sense that someone is just really unsure or trying to be brave, which I normally don't get with the Nine of Wands. But then the Eight of 
swords showed up with the Queen of Wands. And if this is not a third person, this is someone that's battling with themselves. Um, because the Queen of Wands would never be an Eight of Swords and vice versa. The Queen of Wands is very fearless and bold and they just go after what they want. They have no problems doing it. Um, fearless, passionate, driven. Queen of Wands will have no problems with this Page of Cups. But for some reason, this person has problems with this Page of Cups. So I'm starting to think this Page of Cups is an apology. And this per uh, Deep Regret is here. The Fool is at the bottom of the deck. This will lead to a new beginning. This apology, this expression of how someone feels, is, you know, expressing themselves, their feelings, is it will lead to a new beginning in, in some way. Um, but I think that there's something that, that's missing that I don't see here. Um, the Four of Cups, the Moon, the Seven of Wands, this energy of the Devil reversed, the Five of Pentacles. I feel like there's something here that someone is bringing... It's like, it's like a, a conflict or a problem that the cards aren't showing me right now. But this conflict or problem, whatever it is, which that's the same thing whatever conflict or situation I guess I should say whatever conflict or situation that this devil isn't about because I think it's keeping someone from it's, it's like slowing someone down with the knight of pentacles and the three of wands I'm almost picturing someone like waiting around I feel like whatever this is is impeding someone or keeping someone in this energy I think a tower has happened either in your life in their life Wow, five of cups in the world. Oh, yes. A tower has definitely happened or needs to happen for a new cycle to begin. Either a tower has happened and a new cycle is starting or a tower has to happen for a new cycle to start. I don't think it really matters because regardless, the end result is the same. Um, tell me about this eight of swords. I'm just curious. What else can you tell me about this eight of swords? Ten of swords. Yikes. And there's that two of swords. I think I think what's going on is that this person, interesting. Okay, what's behind the fool? I'm just curious here. Page of Wands reverse. Yeah, I think that this person, they want what they can't have right now. For some reason, they cannot make this happen. And I have a feeling that maybe there's a just a, like a little undercurrent of, of, of desperation or paralysis <laughs> where it's like they need to start something, but the longer they wait, the more far out of reach it feels. And I honestly feel like this person is in the dark as to how you would take this, how you would um, respond to them if they were to come forward with a message. And I think it's because, I don't know, I feel like this person, for them to come forward, I feel like they, they burned a bridge behind them or they ended something, they had a tower moment. And so now they're coming to you, but I don't know, it's almost like they, they just finished one big obstacle and now it's like obstacle number two with Scorpio. So let's get some insight into how this person's thinking, feeling about you. And then we'll take this to the extended. The extended is going to be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, what their intentions are towards you, their next actions. All that will be in the extended, which will be linked in the description box. Spirit, tell me about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio. What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings, energies towards Scorpio? The path I am on is leading me straight to you. I wish I could go back in time. We will be together again is after that. Didn't you have a reading like that? Well, I know the bonus reading for January, they wanted you back. They wanted to fix things. Um, and in Scorpio, someone wanted to beg for your forgiveness. I mean, not in Scorpio. In January is how they feel. Yeah, January, you and them. We will be together again. So this is a, probably a continuation of that, of that reading, Scorpio. Someone's been thinking about you consistently. And they have a goal in mind when it comes to you. I wish I could go back in time. There's that regret again. 
the path I'm on is leading me straight to you, it's because that you are the goal for them. This new beginning, this fool, it involves you. So I'm going to save this to the extended now. We're going to look a little bit closer at your person. 